Okay, seven, seven times two, so y double time plus y equals one. So the homogeneous equation is y double time plus y equals zero, right? You know that is a, a simple harmonic oscillator. Okay, so, so you can choose y, y, and sign. And you can show that this satisfies the homogeneous equation by putting it back here. So sine double prime will give you minus sine, right? If the sine prime will give you cosine, cosine prime will give you minus sine. So that would be minus sine, and that would be sine, and that add up to zero. And likewise, you can choose y2 as cosine, right? And so the general solution will be an arbitrary coefficient times y1 with the sine x, an arbitrary coefficient c sub 2 times y2 is cosine x. And then you need a particular solution. Uh, what I've said is y equals one is often obvious particular solution because that one is equals to one and one double prime is zero because it's a constant. So that would be perfect solution. Perfect general solution. Yeah, you only need two arbitrary coefficients and then you have two here, c sub one and c sub two. And then this satisfied the original equation. So that would be a General solution. So general solutions are always going to be They're going to be in that. Yeah, in this form. Yeah, in this form. And what it means is not uh, unique is that, uh, like, if you like, you can like add the cosine x. That would be perfectly cool. Because uh, all you need to do, you can actually combine this and that and change the coefficients of like this. Right, because this is arbitrary, so you don't have to uh, fix that. Right. Add, add any uh, homogeneous solution doesn't matter. So the particular solution part can be non unique. So, okay. <laughs>